Hey guys, Kaiser here, your travel tech guru. Today I'm attending the Canon R5 and R6 demo event. I'm super pumped and super excited. I'm going to finally get a chance to play with the Canon R5. Uh, man, just learning so much about R5, I'm super excited. I'm gonna try them out, see how their pictures and their videos turn out. It's gonna be an exciting day. So Canon is gonna allow me to play with uh, either the R5 or the R6 for about an hour or so. So I'm gonna take some pictures, take some videos, and even share it with you guys. So I can't wait to do all that. It's going to be super exciting and super fun. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, in case if you guys are wondering, I'm actually shooting this on Femi Palm. What do you guys think of the quality? I just wanted to try it out and see how this thing turns out. So there you go. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the R5. But first, safety. Take care, guys. All right. Hey, how's it going? Good, 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 good. This is the R5. R5 what is it? with the 50 millimeter. Awesome. And this one? Yeah. The 1.2. Wow, look at that. This lens is delicious, to say the least. I'm alre already salivating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Fantastic. Oh, you don't have one. Nice. I'm so sorry about that. I got over there. You didn't bring your own? <laughs> no. Hey guys, Kaiser here. I'm at the Canon R5 demo here, and I have Jacob with me here who's going to talk more about the R5 and all the great things this camera is able to do. Let's go find more about it. Hey everybody, my name is Jacob Clark. I'm here with Canon Canada. I'm on the EOS R5 and R6 road trip. We're traveling across Canada, visiting cities all across the country. Uh, showing off this beautiful new system from Canon. It's a 45 megapixel dual pixel uh, sensor. Uh, I can speak on end about it. 20 frames per second electronic shutter, 12 frames per second mechanical shutter. The photos that come out of this thing are incredible and the videos are even better. Um, if you guys want to experience it, check out canonroadtrip.ca. Hope you're having a great day. Can't wait to meet you. That's great, Jacob. Thank you so much. Hey, Jacob, uh, how different is the R5 from the 1DX? So this is a great product, has a really high-end specs, but compared to the 1DX, what does this have? So the biggest difference between this and the 1DX is probably going to be the weatherproofing that the R5 has as it's a mirrorless camera. So the R5 is completely uh, weather sealed. Uh, there's a lot of really incredible technology with the magnesium alloy that they use to craft the body. Uh, with the synergy with the RF lenses, this camera is something that you've got to experience, man, for sure. Awesome. Awesome, Jacob. Thank you so much. Do you want to say anything about the Canon R5 road trip that's happening? Absolutely. So if you want to come test out the R5 or the R6, check out canonroadtrip.ca. We're traveling from Montreal to Vancouver, so we're probably going to visit somewhere close to you. Uh, register. It's $10. The proceeds go to charity. Uh, we'd love to see you, and I can't wait to meet you. Awesome, Jacob. You're awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And Canon is always the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I'm here with Ben here and he's going to talk more about R5. He's going to compare it with the R versus R5. What do you what do you have to say about that? Well, since I've been shooting on the R for quite a while, I absolutely love it. Um, but obviously the R doesn't have the five axis stabilization. So that's a really big step up in this. Nice. The weather ceiling on this is actually a little bit higher than the R models. So that's a little bit more reliable as well. Uh, and they've brought back the little like thumb joystick that the R doesn't have mm -hmm. yeah. so on the back. Like we've got that, which is really handy, I find, for the autofocus as well as yes. just navigating through the menu. Absolutely. And having a scroll wheel back down here, oh, a bit huge. of a game changer. Oh, huge, yeah. Uh, like that's something that I think was definitely missing on the R, so it's nice to see that back in here. Uh, but just absolutely incredible. The crispness of the images, obviously, you've got 45 megapixels in here, and the low light performance is even a little bit better than the R5. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, the R. The low light performance on the R5 yep. is better than the R2 for by sure. a long way. For it's sure. fantastic. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. And I know the R5 has 8K. What do you what do you have to comment about that compared to R? R doesn't even have 8K, so Correct. getting yeah. 8K on this is, must be fabulous. Yeah, and so the R model in 4K mode, um, it will crop in on the R's. This one has no crop. Uh, even at 8K, there is no crop. It is incredible. Uh, very, very, very crisp. Uh, with the 8K, being able to crop all the way in, even if you crop that to 4K, it still looks incredible, like zooming in. Awesome. Um, I've seen quite a few beautiful examples of that too. People cropping all the way into what would be 1080 and the sharpness of that and the flexibility. Um, I think it like, let's say you're shooting at 15 mil. Yeah. You essentially have like three camera angles now because you can crop into Exactly, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Ben, that's awesome. Thank you so much. You've you so much information and 
God is so excited about our fight. Yeah. Can't wait to try it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So guys, like Jacob had been mentioned, the Canon R5 is fantastic. I love holding this camera. It has such a nice deep grip and I can firmly hold it when I'm taking pictures. The body of the R5 is amazing. It's rugged, durable and weatherproof. It's totally built for outdoors. At the front, you also have a remote control terminal and depth of field preview button. The interface of the R5 is very similar to the Canon EOS R. The minor difference is the on and off switch, the joystick at the back, scroll wheel instead of the D-pad. You also have the microphone jack moved to the top and this helps from obstructing with the articulating screen when it's open. The screen at the back is a 3.2 inch which is slightly bigger than the EOS R. The R5 also comes with a dual memory card slot. Alright guys, enough of me talking, let's see some samples. But before I show you some sample footage and pictures, I kind of want to apologize. I ended up talking to the Canon folks for so long, we kind of got excited about the R5 and I totally forgot it was a time limit event and I only had 15 minutes to capture whatever I can. Hence, I'm only able to show you few video samples and few pictures. So I hope this kind of still helps you. And FYI, all the samples I'm showing you are unedited. All right, that was a wrap. R5 guys, that was an amazing camera, I must say. It's a beast. The pictures and the video, hope you guys like those. But man, I can't believe it. But, and it's going for about 5K. So the R5 should be about 5.5K and this R6 should be a little bit over 6K. But man, for anyone who's looking for serious videography and photography, that is an awesome, awesome camera. I hope to get it one day. That would be great. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to check the description below for more details about the Canon R5 road trip.